It's Rich Birdsall. I'm inside the Food of Bago. Look at this. Uh, all the rest of the radio stations are here with me. Well, not right now, but as well. And uh, we're collecting non-perishable food items for Chow. This is pretty great stuff. You seriously need to see this. Look. Right? Look at all this. Lots of businesses have come in so far and dropped off shopping carts full of food. I mean, you know, we're filling cabinets and... Yeah, the floor for P. I mean, that's a picture right there. Look at that. It's all going for a great cause. The Community Hunger Outreach Warehouse. By all means, if you can get in there, in your cupboards, in your pantries, and find anything that you're not going to be using or you really don't like, or just some extra stuff, please bring it on over here and drop it off. We're only helping people who can't afford food during this time of year. I mean, holidays get rough as it is, and... Uh, when you're hungry, man, it just makes everything worse. Give us a hand, will you? Bring your non-perishable food items down. If you're shopping, grab a couple extra cans, uh, just a few if you can. I know they got 10 for 1 deals over here across the street at Wise. Help us out, okay? We're going to be here until Monday at 10 a.m. collecting your non-perishable food items for chow. Please help us out. What's our 15th year? That's right, our 15th anniversary. So we want to get at least 15 tons in this camper, okay? Thanks a lot to Hillcrest RV, Matt. You're the man for bringing this camper down here. Also, big thanks to Tall Pines Farm Stoves and Fireplaces and uh, Ruby and Sons Jewelers and, of course, Fidelis Care. I mean, they stop here and they're bringing us fun stuff like pens and look at, we have little squishy cows and little squishy footballs and stuff. And seriously, come on down and say hi to me. I'll be here tonight until just about six. So I'll be looking forward to saying hi.